Are you thinking about living in Bellevue, Washington? Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk about why everybody absolutely loves living in Bellevue. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I love helping you guys out. Those of you that contact me here from YouTube when you're moving over to the greater Seattle area, or maybe you already live here. I am an active real estate agent in this area, so if you are coming over here or you already live here and you're thinking about buying a home, feel free to reach out to me. Would be more than happy to help you with that. But like I said, this video, we're gonna talk about Bellevue specifically. Now, Bellevue is a city, a suburb of Seattle that has become extremely desirable over the years. Now, Bellevue is located just about 10 miles east of Seattle. It's just on the other side of Lake Washington. Now, what compares these two cities are they are the they are the two largest downtown areas in Western Washington. So these two cities often get compared. They both have great high paying jobs in these areas and they're both pretty urban locations with suburban neighborhoods and areas right around them. Now talking about comparing Seattle and Bellevue, number one, one of the biggest reasons that people absolutely love living in Bellevue is the overall cleanliness of the city. Now, you may have heard certain things about Seattle where it really struggles uh, with, with drug issues and crime issues and uh, you know homeless encampments all over the city and trash lining the streets and graffiti everywhere. That's a stark reality of what's going on in Seattle, and it has drawn a lot of people to move elsewhere from the city of Seattle. Bellevue, on the other hand, like I said, it's only 10 miles to the east, but it's completely different. It feels like a completely different world because you don't struggle with that stuff. You don't see homelessness or tent encampments. You don't see graffiti or public drug use. You don't see any of these issues in the downtown Bellevue area like you do Seattle. It feels like you're in a completely different state. That makes a lot of people feel much more comfortable spending their time in say a downtown Bellevue than they do in downtown Seattle, which has drawn a lot of people to move to Bellevue. Now the number two reason we see people absolutely loving Bellevue is the schools in this area. These are some of the best schools in the state. Not only just the state, you can see niche.com here has rated Bellevue as having the, as number three in terms of the best public schools in America. So of course, this is not my opinion. This is just what Niche is, is telling us and showing us, but you can look at the Bellevue School District and, and go to the Great Schools website and look at the school ratings. You can see that these are very highly rated schools and a lot of people are moving over to Seattle with Bellevue schools being their top priority to put their kids in. Not only public schools, there's a lot of private schools in the Bellevue area as well. So if that's something that's important to you, you will have a number of options for private schools. All right, number three, this is jobs. Now this is no surprise. This is really how Bellevue took off in the first place is all the jobs, the high paying jobs that are in this area. You have Microsoft here. Microsoft headquarters are right at uh, the Bellevue and Redmond where Bellevue and Redmond meet. So this is really one of the biggest reasons that Bellevue has blown up over the last couple of decades is because of Microsoft and the rise of that and how much money has been brought into this area. So all of the people that have moved here from out of state taking jobs at Microsoft has made a huge difference on the economy here in Bellevue. Outside of Microsoft, you also have companies like Amazon with offices over here. All sorts of different companies here in the Bellevue area, not just tech, you've got a lot of tech companies. You also have healthcare jobs. Overlake Hospital is, is a large hospital here in Bellevue and a lot of other healthcare job opportunities. Along with that, with how much money is here in the Bellevue area, you have a lot of finance jobs as well. It's one of the best places in Western Washington that you can be if you're looking for a new job and a high paying job at that. All right, number four is outdoor recreation. Now, the great thing about being in Bellevue is you're surrounded by water. Like I mentioned, Lake Washington is what separates Seattle and Bellevue. So right on the west side of Bellevue, you are surrounded by Lake Washington. What comes along with this are many parks like Main Bower Park, where you can go hang out, the kids can go swimming, you can throw in a, a kayak or a paddleboard. You can launch a boat and take your boat out and go water skiing, wakeboarding. You can go fishing, all sorts of things you can do here on Lake Washington. It is a very, very large lake. This is the lake we grew up going to when I was a kid and that we take our kids to as well. So, so much you can do here on Lake Washington. Now on the other side of Bellevue, 
you have Lake Sammamish. Now, Lake Sammamish is what borders both Bellevue and the city of Sammamish. So another lake you can take advantage of, another large lake, a little bit smaller than Lake Washington, but still large enough for you to throw your boat out on. Lots of parks, go swimming, hang out there, enjoy the water. There's a lot you can do with water recreation here in the Bellevue area. Outside of water, you have multiple different locations you can go golfing. So if that's important to you, there's a lot of people in Bellevue that go golfing. Um, so there are a number of spots where you can do that and they're nice courses. There's also opportunities for trails and such. So whether you want like an easier walking trail, you can go to bridal trails on the north side of Bellevue. There's lots of trails through there. There's equestrian as well. So you'll see people with their horses out there. There's lots of trails in this area. Now, if you want to head out and you want to go to the mountain ranges, right? Bellevue is close to the Cascade Mountain Range here in the, the greater Seattle area, all of us are. And so if you wanna go out there and you wanna take in um, some skiing and some snowboarding, or you wanna have some more advanced level hikes, some, some higher elevations, you can go close to there. Anywhere, you can find hikes anywhere from, you know, 15 minutes from Bellevue with some nice, you know, higher elevation hikes to, you know, you can get to the top of Snoqualmie Pass, which is where the ski resort is you know, within 45 minutes from Bellevue. So if that's important to you to go up there in the winter, go skiing or go during the summer, taking some mountain biking and opportunities up there for summertime activities, you are super close to everything. So that's a huge plus of being in Bellevue. The great thing about being in the Pacific Northwest is summers here are absolutely amazing. Very rarely do temperatures get so high where it's unbearable. Most of the time temperatures here in the summer are in the 70s and 80s. So it's very pleasant to hang out outside. We don't get much rain in the summer at all. Beautiful sunshine. And so it's a, it's a great place to be to enjoy those summertime activities. All right, number five reason is shopping and restaurants. So this is something Bellevue is really known for. And I've talked about this a lot on this video. There's a lot of money in Bellevue. In fact, two of the richest people in the world live in the Bellevue area. That's Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos, uh, Microsoft and Amazon founders. So there's a lot of money in the Bellevue area. Now, along with that comes a lot of great fine dining restaurants and shopping opportunities. Now, when it comes to restaurants, fine dining, like I said, there's a bunch of steakhouses. There's Fogo de Chao, which is a, an amazing restaurant uh, that, that I've been to a couple of times and love. There's Din Tai Fung. There's all sorts of great fine dining opportunities here in Bellevue. That's really what it's known for. Now, when it comes to shopping, there's a couple different options here in Bellevue, and it's really revolved right around Bellevue Square here. So you have the Bellevue Collection, which is basically the mall here in Bellevue. It's a very large two-story mall. You're gonna have all of your typical stores like Gap and H&M and, and Zara and Macy's and all of that kind of stuff is gonna be here in Bellevue Square the Bellevue Collection. So if you need to do back to school shopping or seasonal shopping for yourself for new clothes, you're gonna have all the options that you need here at Bellevue Collection. Now outside of Bellevue Collection across the street, you're gonna have a lot more luxury uh, shops as well. So if that's something you're looking for, like a Neiman Marcus, uh, like a Prada, um, like a Gucci, all of those types of stores are also in Bellevue. There's a lot of people, again, that have money in this area. So they frequent those stores and they do really well in Bellevue. All of this is a really walkable downtown area. So whether you live in downtown and you just walk around or you live on the outskirts outside of downtown, you drive down and park, you can walk to all of these places, to the Bellevue collection, to all of the restaurants. You can go bowling down here. Um, you can tech in the luxury shops. There's a lot you can do in downtown Bellevue here and spend a day. All right, and the last reason here I'm gonna go over are the homes and neighborhoods here in Bellevue. Now, like I mentioned, Bellevue's a very nice area. So there's a lot of really nice neighborhoods. Now you can go up to the north side of Bellevue near Medina and Clyde Hill where median home prices are three to $5 million. Really super luxury neighborhoods with waterfront homes. You can find a lot of that in Bellevue. You can go to some other more affordable parts of Bellevue. Now the median home price in Bellevue right now is just over 1.6 million. So this is an expensive area. You're gonna get a starter home. If you find like a little three bedroom home, starter home, maybe it needs needs some, some fix ups and some updates, that's still gonna be around 1.2 million right now, right? So expensive place to live. There's a lot of reasons for that, but if you can financially pull that off, Bellevue is a wonderful place to live. Now, 
you have a lot of luxury homes as well. So outside of like the waterfront in the north side of Bellevue, where those really luxury neighborhoods are, you can find a lot of luxury homes, one-off luxury homes in the Bellevue area, all throughout Bellevue. Where you've got a four to 5,000 square foot new build house, um, and it's, you know, three to five million dollars. There's a lot of that that has been built in Bellevue over the last few years. And then you've got everything in between. Your typical uh, subdivision, suburban homes that are priced, you know, 1.5 to 2.5 million, all sorts of different types of homes in that range. Now, if you're not looking for a single family home and you're looking for a condo, there's a lot of condos in Bellevue as well. And this provides an alternative for people that wanna live in this area, but can't quite afford a single family home yet. Median condo prices in Bellevue are 659,000. Now this has a wide range as well. You can get a condo in an older building, a little bit outside of downtown, um, that's maybe a one or two bedroom unit that's hovering around 400,000, 450,000, again, in an older building. Or you can be right downtown, you can be in a high rise building, a new high rise building with all sorts of amenities, amazing views for a million five, two million five, four million, five million dollars, penthouse suites. There's all sorts of stuff in Bellevue and everything in between when it comes to condos and townhomes. So those will provide some alternative options for you that'll be a little bit more affordable if that's something that you're looking for. All right, well, this wraps up my top six reasons on why everybody loves living in the Bellevue area. Like I mentioned, I'm an active real estate agent over here, so if you're planning to make the move over this way and you need help looking for the right place to live, shopping for homes, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help you with that process. Thanks for watching this one.